In this tip of the day, let's take a look at using cutter compensation using one CNC. Now in this example, you can see that we already have a part created. This is actually a power steering bracket, and we also have a tooling plate to help secure the bracket when applying tool path. Now I've already applied a profile operation, but I haven't used cutter compensation yet, so let's take a close look at the proper way to use cutter comp within one CNC. I'm going to right hand mouse click, let's quickly select edit operation, and then we're going to move through these dialog boxes until we come to this menu right here. Now if you're performing just one finish pass, just one finish profile operation on the part, then for finish leave on sides you're going to want to have this set to zero just like we have here. Let's click next. Now within this dialog box, this is where we set up the parameters for cutter compensation. By default, finishing is set to none. That simply means we're not going to be using G41 or G42. We're going to just output the very center of the tool for the tool path. But if I click on this, there's also some other options we need to take a close look at. For example, set depth. That means that we are using cutter compensation, but we're going to specify a depth to use that cutter comp. Well, we don't want this option right now, so let's click on this. Let's take a look at this one, same as rough depth. This simply means that we're taking multiple depths of cut to profile the part, and that we want to use cutter compensation on each depth of cut. Well, again, for this example, we don't want to use that, so let's click back in here. What we want to use is bottom only. Bottom only is typically what you're going to always use. What this means is that we're going to be applying cutter compensation on the exact same depth that we specified here for the final Z. So let's click next and next. So bottom only is what we want to use. Now under compensation, there's some different parameters we need to take a look at. Automatic again means no cutter compensation, no G41, no G42. But if I click on here, there's three different options. Let's take a look at the first one, at control. Now at control simply means that yes, we're going to be outputting cutter compensation, G41 or G42, but this also means that at the control, you're going to be specifying the diameter of the tool that you're using. So if you're using a half inch diameter tool, at the control, you're going to specify a half inch diameter. Now let's take a look at the other compensation options. We're going to click here, and you'll notice we have wear closer and wear away. Both of these will also output cutter compensation, G41 or G42. The only difference is that both of these options require you to start by putting in zero as the diameter out of the control. So at control, you specify the diameter of the tool. Where closer or where away, you want to specify zero as the diameter out of the control. That's the difference. Now you may be asking, okay, well then what's the difference between where closer and where away? Well, this is really just what side of the geometry do you want to apply cutter compensation. Where closer is going to output a G42, whereas where away is going to output a G41. For climb cutting, you're typically going to want to use at control or where away. Those are the main options there. All right, so let's stick with that control for this example. Let's click next on that. And let's talk about the entry and exit values. Now, some of the older controls when using cutter compensation require you to enter and exit the profile at a 90 degree angle. If that's the case, then for start line angle and in line angle, you're going to want to specify minus 90 degrees for both of those. That will create tool path that enters and exits the profile at 90 degrees. And then your start line length and in line length, that's just the distance of the approach and exit value. Very simple. Okay, so let's click finish on that. And there we go. Here's our tool path using cutter compensation. This first perpendicular move is going to output a G41. We're going to climb cut all the way around the part. And then this last perpendicular move is going to output the G40. So let's head up here to the NC manager, right hand mouse click. We're going to select post group. And I'm just going to use the default post processor here. Let's click post. I'm going to use the default name. We'll click save on that. We're going to overwrite that. And here we go. Here's the CNC code. Here's where we're applying cutter compensation. There's the G41. And then on this line, we're turning cutter comp off with a G40 move. Very, very good. All right, that's it for this tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.